Welcome back to The Morning Blend. Our next guests train animals to comfort and guide humans. In their words, they're devoted to training big-hearted dogs to help sensitive humans live better. That's right. Amy Dodge is the executive director of Pets Helping People. She's here with a team of handlers to tell us more about the group's mission. Good to see Hi. you. Good morning. Thanks for having us Hi, on. Hi, ladies. Yeah. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so chill. Yeah. <laughs> These are some of our handlers and their precious pups, uh, <laughs> Diane Miller, and, and this is Irene, and we have Jen and Birdie and <laughs> Beth and Coda on the far side. And you can't tell right now, but Birdie is what, 165 pound Mastiff? <laughs> is that right, Jenny? definitely yes. is 165 pounds! <laughs> she is, yep. she is, look at her. So pretty. This is wonderful. So we were kind of talking about the difference between comfort, um, service, and therapy. What, what designates each type of animal? There's a very distinct difference between the three categories and and the par pet therapy dog is one that is um, trained outside and can go to the community and share the love like we're, we're talking about today okay um, an emotional comfort dog and a service slash guide dog are animals are puppies that are trained from puppyhood to actually work with one individual gotcha so they're so a guide trained a guide or service dog trained from pup and this is somebody who might oh, you see people who have are vision impaired vision impaired hearing uh, impaired they now have dogs that can help with diabetes they're tuned into glycomic uh, indicators uh, yeah. okay um, and then for comfort dogs they can be specific for PTSD okay. anxiety behavioral issues so those again are are trained just for one individual where our dogs are trained to go out and meet all kinds of individuals. Okay. Well, and, and you, you know, one thing you said during the break, which I'm interested, you said sometimes it depends on the, if they have the right personality, <laughs> if they have the right demeanor for this kind of training, because if you're talking about going to the community, they've got to be pretty social. They do. And, and really not, you know, be too timid around people. Absolutely. Some of the criteria that we look for is obedience skills, of course, those all have to be mastered. And when we, when we do an assessment, we test for those four obedience skills. Sit, stay down, mm -hmm. uh, walking on a loose lead, the leave it command, which is very important in case somebody drops a pill or something oh. that you know the dog leaves it and doesn't harm himself or herself. And then we have um, the, the um, service dogs are, are trained, uh, like I said, to, to work with one individual. Mm -hmm. So. Do certain breeds oh, and, so tired. <laughs> and genders uh, make better therapy dogs than others? No, any dog can be a therapy dog. Um, along with those obedience skills we talk about is having that proper demeanor, that proper personality. And oh. not only for that, but the, the <laughs> handlers as well. You know, we're looking for somebody that wants to go out and interact with people in the community. The dogs have to be well socialized. Yeah. They, they have to want to do this. So when we're doing the assessments, we're looking for those clues. We're looking for those behaviors that really say, yeah, this oh, is a therapy oh, <laughs> I'm Jen, upstage by well, a that's the thing. Five pound dog. Jen, tell us about Birdie, because Birdie is like, I mean, you can't ignore her. She's enormous. Yeah, she's Look at her, she's so yeah. beautiful. Look at you. Look at Birdie. Birdie's five, yeah. and Birdie comes to work with me every day. So she does therapy every day. Who does she like to work with? Hmm? Who does she work with? Um, we've done nursing homes. We've done, um, I've worked a little bit with veterans yep. and some pet parades and yeah. That's yeah. great. And actually Birdie is part of our Wagon Tails <laughs> team. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Irene is and Birdie is. <laughs> and Coda uh, and Beth are new to the program. They just uh, became accredited in November. Okay. So Wagon Tails is actually, um, it's our, we call it our dog and pony show minus the pony. <laughs> So we go out into the community and we get usually six to eight handler teams <laughs> and we come in and we do a show for people. Okay. And so about half hour of, of a show and then half hour of interacting with the residents. And that's our, our wagon tails performance. And, and Birdie is always a very big hit. Yeah, I bet. And it's a lot. In two ways. <laughs> it's a lot to be on TV and with other dogs and stuff. So I'm not surprised that they're. But just if you would each just comment briefly why you decided what it was about your dog that made you think, hey, I, I, I feel like this would be a great program. I'd like him or her to become a therapy dog. Yeah. Let's start with you, Diane. Well, I, um, I've been with Pets Helping People for 16 years okay. and was waiting to get a dog that I thought could be a therapy dog. I had dogs before, but they were 
not going to be therapy dogs. So when my husband and I adopted Irene, who's hiding back here. She's um, hanging out. Mm -hmm. we, I kind of had a sense when we chose her that she had the right disposition. I, I knew what Pets Helping People did. How many I, days a week does she work? We do um, yeah. most time just twice a week. Twice we go a week. to, we visit at East Castle Place, which is a multi-level care facility. Mm -hmm. We work with the memory care patients and the uh, skilled nursing and rehab patients. It's nice. And then one day a week we go, during the school year, we go to a school in West Dallas and are part of what's called Read to Rover, where the students practice reading to Irene. Aww. Yes. And your donor now. And Beth, real oh. quick to, for you with your pet. Um, well, she sure, sort of told me that she needed to be <coughs> a therapy dog. I've had many dogs in the past and she's just turned two. She's always been very, very, laid back from when she was a little puppy and we'd never had a lab before and I, I understand why they use them for service dogs. She gets the paper, she gets the mail, she gets my gloves and it's always, if someone's upset she goes and leans on them and you know they start petting her and so um, my kids are all grown and I thought this would be a nice um, volunteer project and uh, she's done great. I teach at UWM and she comes oh. along with me. Um, sometimes uh, to my studio. True and gentle giants. Yes. Yeah. Giants are very big dogs. Yeah, That's and adorable. And we have little ones as well. Mm -hmm. We've got little you guys uh, have Yorkies and all kinds in between. Actually, we have a couple of pit bulls that are in the program. Yeah. So you had asked about if it is a certain breed or whatever. No, it's oh. any dog that has the right temperament and has those obedience skills. Petshelpingpeople.org is the website for more. You've got 175 active handler dog teams that reach over 5,000 people annually. So yeah. keep up the Phenomenal. great work. Thank you so much Thanks, for having ladies. us on. Thank you, pets. Thank you.